Hi friends, I am Madhu from Madhu Tech Skills Computer Education. Today I came in front of you to tell the second interview point of view question. In the previous video I have given first interview point of view question called what is Java. There we have uh, discussed about the answer is Java is an object oriented programming language and it is originally developed by Sun Microsystems of USA in 1991 and the first version of Java was released in 1995 and Java is also called as platform this is the answer you need to give when interviewer asks a question called what is Java just give the answer Java is an object oriented programming language and originally developed by Sun Microsystems of USA in 1991 and released in 1995 and Java is also called as platform the second interview point of view question we are going to discuss about it today is why Java is called as object oriented programming language. This is the question. So the answer is simple. If a language supports object oriented programming concepts, that language is called as object oriented programming language. So first, I'd like to give this answer. If a language supports the following or we can say if a language supports OOPS concepts then that programming language is called as object oriented programming language there are three oops concepts are there okay the first one is data abstraction and encapsulation and the second one is polymorphism and third one is inheritance these are called as oops concepts whenever or a programming language supports the following three OOPS concepts then that programming language is called as object oriented for example Smalltalk, Smalltalk is a language which supports these three OOPS concepts C++ is a programming language which supports these three OOPS concepts Java also supports these three OOPS concepts comes to PHP or VB.NET or C sharp.net like that we have different languages those languages supports object oriented programming concepts called these three OOPS concepts one is data abstraction and encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and also we can give the answer like this that is the second answer that is Java is called as object oriented language object oriented programming language because it totally depends on objects when you want to develop an application by using Java we will develop that application totally depending on the objects for example if we 
want to develop an application in Java, we divide that application into number of objects and provide communication between those objects. In this manner, we will develop applications in Java. So here, when you develop an application by using Java, we can divide that application into number of objects and provide communication between those objects and we will implement that application. That's why Java is called as object oriented. Java totally depends on object. Let us say, I'll give a small explanation. Let us say we have a small application there. Now actually I need to develop an application for like, uh, yeah, computer education that is my computer education center Madhu Tech Skills. There I want to maintain the details of employees and students. Okay, for that I'll take at least minimum, I'll divide our, my application or our application into objects like this. This is first object. The first object name is department. One minute. I'll take a little bit smaller one. Okay. Let us say it is one object. The object name is department. This is another object. Let us say it is employee object. And I would like to take another object. that is student object. And also we can take college object, university object like that. And we can provide interaction between these three objects. Okay, department also called as one object. In real time employee is an object, student is also object. In between these objects we can provide interaction. How we can provide interaction between the objects? Simple. Every object contains, in Java actually every object contains some fields and methods. In Java every object contains some fields and some methods. fields and methods.
So I have taken only three objects to give simple explanation but in real time will change a lot uh, and actually in real time will develop this application uh, more complex than what we have we are seeing here okay so in real time or uh, in, in future in future I'll clearly explain how to develop a project okay I'll show you how we can divide an application a Java application into number of objects and how we provide interaction between those objects we can see it but um, after completing more and more and more um, interview point of question I'll explain that one day okay so wait for that and start from here now okay so the, here I have uh, whenever I develop an application our application may be divided into number of objects just like this department is one object employee is an object one object student is one object we know that employee belongs to some department student belongs to some department and between student and employee also some communication will be there isn't it between department and employee between department and student some communication will be there in real time and also between employee and student for example we have the faculty is an employee faculty takes the classes for the students and he will choose some subject so student and employee both the objects has some interaction in real time so we need to provide that interaction how we can provide the interaction in programs by calling methods of one object in another object we can provide communication one minute like this this employee object can call the methods of department department object and this department object can call the methods of employee object the student object can call the methods of employee object and employee object can call the methods of student object and student object can call the methods of department object like this one object can call the methods of other object and one object call the method of another object and send some messages to that object like 10 20 30 40 like that and that method that second method for example let us say um, in employee class or in employee object we have a method and this method is calling the method of student object okay and to that student object method if it passes 1020 after processing some addition operation if this method returns 30 that is called communication which means employee object is calling the method of student object and passing some information and student object method returning some results means return back some results to the employee object method and this employee object method takes that result like this in this manner we can provide interaction between objects so whenever you write an application in Java please remember we divide that application into number of objects and by providing interaction between those objects I can develop such type of I can develop application in this manner I'll develop the application when you learn Java that's why Java is called as object oriented simply Java is called as object oriented because Java totally depends on objects that's it this is the answer so I have given two answers for this question what is that question why Java is called as object oriented programming language Java is called as object oriented programming language because the applications which are developed in Java are divided into number of objects and we can provide communication interaction between the objects in such a manner we can develop the application that's why Java is called as object oriented programming language and the second answer is because Java supports OOPS concepts Java is called as object oriented that's it that is the answer so in the next question in the third question we will discuss about why Java is called as 
platform. That is the third interview point of equation. I'm going to upload in YouTube channel, Madhu Tech Skills. That is the YouTube channel. So subscribe the Madhu Tech Skills YouTube channel and get more and more and more YouTube, sorry, more and more videos on interview point of equations and other technologies. Okay. Till now, for now, it is the interview point of equation. Thank you.